Hey, hello everyone. Hey, it's me again. I'm I'm back and I'm gonna be talking about today. I'm gonna be talking about uh five things that you have to know in when you go back home or when you're in Kenya that are different culture wise compared to the one that we have in the United States. I know we've lived in two different continents and today I'm gonna be talking about five stuff that you have to be keen about when you live in two different places especially two different continents a first world continent and a third world continent so number one personal space oh i grew up over there so for the past 25 years but personal space nah that's a no no thing over there we don't have personal space it's not like here when you go to the bank in america uh, you stand in a four line or a single four line behind somebody at least a meter or two meters that's the distance that that's a or the standard distance that most people over here stand behind somebody else you don't want to stand in closest at a close proximity to somebody like this no they say you're gay you don't want somebody else to defy you as a gay as a fucker no especially when you're man to man i don't know about lesbianism but i don't know uh in america people are thought of their culture or they grew up in a different culture that they say uh, you have to keep distance African. We don't care whether in the bank, hospital, in the hallway. We, s we don't have that space that we respect between an individual. Number two is no speaking. So, <laughs> no speaking. You guys know about it. It's a no no thing in America. And back at home, no one cares. Who cares? Who, who gives a F about it? You visit. I'm talking about an incident one time when I visited a doctor and he was asking me about my uh, condition. He was doing uh, whatever. I don't know. What's the name? Taking examination? Or like, what are the symptoms? Do you feel? How do you feel? So, I uh, forget about the doctor, but I'm saying. So, this doctor was asking me all these questions and he was like, picking up his nose so do you have a headache how was your day da -da 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 -da. <laughs> uh, we'll get you sorted out I was like shit this is disgusting that's when I went home last time so no speaking unless you you must that's the reason why most people most Americans they walk around, they walk around with hand sanitizer you do, you touch your body, you touch anywhere that you think is not clean, you have to go and use your hand sanitizer. Number three, um, approximate time. In Africa, it's always approximate time. When you call somebody, you call your mom, dad, what time are you going to be home? Or when are we going to meet in town? Or can we have lunch tomorrow? Yeah, sure. What time? Um, Around one. When they say around one, it's between... 11.45 and 2.30, two are different, big difference. When you say in America that uh, what time are we going to be having lunch and you say 12.45, it's either plus 2 or plus, plus 2 minus 2 minutes, that's it. If you come 5 minutes late, you're late. Not like that in Kenya or like that in Africa. You come 1 hour after the time or 1 hour past the time. You still early, you still on time. I don't know. Number four, one soap. One soap for everything. I remember you used to buy a mango soap. You can take shower with mango soap. You can uh, do laundry with mango soap. You can wash dishes with uh, mango soap. You can clean the house. You can just mix with warm water and, and make a foam or create a foam and then use to clean the floor, clean the walls. You can use the mango soap for cleaning your car, everything, you can do everything you want, so in America it's way different, you have a soap for cleaning laundry, a soap for cleaning dishes, a soap for cleaning your car, a soap, so, uh, soap for everything, talk about everything specific, you can, they can even have a soap that you clean this kind of mirror or your TV lens or whatever, I don't know what it's, it's called, lens or the TV screen they have everything everything for his own purpose uh, number five 
<coughs> number five is um, the line line for um, when you go to a bank I'm just using a bank in an example when you go to a bank you you stand in a line or single four line here in America but when you go back home yes there's a line or the single four line or uh, single four line but they don't respect that they don't they just you been I don't know maybe the, the line is for white men to just waste their time of the Africans they come whew, in separate ways like you've been standing in line one time I was in the bank and there's this guy I've been standing there for the past about 15 let me say 15 18 minutes and this guy just came from nowhere and trying to come in front of me as like oh I'm just talking to the, uh, the whatever the cashier for like just asking a question i'm like dude i've been standing here for the past 18 minutes and you just coming in front of me and saying i'm talking for even five seconds it doesn't make sense because i've been standing here in front of you so you way back over there so you should start study a line it doesn't matter if you're gonna ask a question for five minutes five seconds 20 minutes it doesn't matter respect the line people doesn't respect the line over there it's not like here here in america people respect the line when I'm giving an example of people, like 10 people standing in a line in a, in a bank and if, if there's an old ass grandma serving these people and she'd be like, oh, I'm sorry guys, I'm too slow for this. Like people would be like, no, no, don't worry, take your time. We will not stand here. We just came here to stand in line. Take your time. Alright guys, see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh!